Face Reading The Science Part 1 by Manohar Man Shrestha. I'm starting a series on face reading and a body type reading. I have done lots of research on this subject over the last three years. I think I'm ready to share my findings now. For now, I'm taking things very simply so as not to confuse you. This first presentation is about faces. There are two ways to read the face. Number one, side view. It tells about the temperament or nature of the person. Number two, front view. It tells about the personality of the person. Today, I will introduce you to, the, to only the side view. There are four types of side views. Bilious, nervous, sanguine, and lymphatic. Bilious. As you can see in the picture, uh, Bruce Willis here has got a bilious temperament. It is characterized mainly very shortly. We'll talk more details later on as determined and then a challenge. Sanguine. This lady has got a sanguine face, has got a slanting, uh, you can see the line, the slanting line. So uh, they are defined by uh, two very prominent characteristics, impulsive and they take initiative very easily. Third one is nervous cast here. Uh, you see Achya Kumar has got a bullet shaped uh, side view. They are very creative and uh, they are not very good at taking initiative. Finally, the fourth one, lymphatic, as you can see this man has got um, the jawline cannot be seen and that's uh, mainly that's what lymphatic is about. So this person uh, is characterized as uh, tolerant and uh, they are visionary. Details based on Dr. Jerry Amstein of which the link I've earlier attached. The bilious types. The primary characteristics associated with the bilious temperament have to do with the strong-willed nature of the type. The bilious are conquerors, dominant, often domineering, bossy, constructors. They have an active practical intelligence and make things happen. They are indefatigable, uh, need very little sleep and must do oxygenating ex activity. When their uh, will, will is not charactered, or is twelfth, they tend to become morose and brooding. They acquire gobs of practical worldly information. Number two, sanguine types. In the sanguine temperament, we find someone who can be defined by two words: acquisitive and territorial. The sanguine need to be need to establish an empire and acquire as much as they can. They are optimistic by nature and extroverted. Being muscular dominant, they are action oriented and extolling the body. They love bodybuilding, aerobic exercises, and uh, body contact sports. They seek to exert their actions on the situation of the immediate present dictates. They tend to be bored easily and to have short attention span. They don't make long-range plans. Such activities require more time to be taken than they are willing to give. They learn best by doing, and when they are not active, they literally have no thoughts rolling around. They require aesthetic surroundings and it organized activities throughout their waking day. Nervous types. Nervous types are volatile and hypercritical. They are the quickest perceivers of all types. Um, and they have high intellectual and think uh, abstract, uh, abstractly and philosophically. They have an artistic temperament, although their productive productions uh, tend to be imitative rather than innovative. They uh, can package all ideas in new versions. They are excellent communicators are witty, hypersensitive, hyperactive to the world. They tend to be hypochondriacs, often magnifying trivial injuries or events into dramatic events uh, of great magnitude. They need adulation, accidents, applause, approval from outside world, and they become depressed. Number four, lymphatic types. Lymphatic types are devotional. They have a strong religious inclination and are visionary. They can be dogmatic, authoritarian. They are pretty bombastic and pernistic. They seek justice, are quite companionable and tolerant, are quite organized in their thinking, and are great organizers like the sanguines. But unlike the bilious and nervous, they don't feel guilt. 
not necessarily pure types. I omitted to explain the hybrid side views. Most people have a hybrid. The side view is further divided into four parts, each indicating certain aspects of the nature. Number one, forehead, preference for detail. Number two, chin, preference for initiative. Number three, jawline, level of the stamina. Number four, the line joining the chin and the forehead, level of creativity and determination. Advanced stuff. Uh, so someone might have, like you can see here on, the, on your right, uh, Elon Musk. I might have all the four uh, characteristics in one side view. Uh, so um, you can have this sanguine forehead indicating uh, the uh, lack of uh, preference for details, a bilious chin indicating determination and um, with strong will, number three a lymphatic uh, chin indicating opinionated nature and uh, a parental nature and um, not very tolerant nature. Number four, uh, nervous cast, bullet shaped line connecting the chin and forehead, indicating creativity. Such a person would have all the qualities of the all the types um, and selectively, of course. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the 12 type of front views uh, the square, the rectangle, the short triangle, long triangle, trapezoid, long trapezoid, high hexagonal, reverse trapezoid, oval, circle, orange, or blanc. Well, that will be in the next series.